Dr. Anand Ranganathan, where do you stand on this entire controversy? Uh, good evening, Navika, and good evening to all my fellow panelists. First of all, my sincere condolences at the tragic death of Naveen. Uh, it goes without saying that we must do everything possible to evacuate every last Indian from Ukraine. And we are. The Indian government, to its credit, has been active and hands-on and been on top of things, having given its first advisory to leave Ukraine more than a week before Russia actually invaded. And so I think, my personal opinion, of course, is as a layman, I think it is unfortunate that the opposition is politicizing the evacuation. In Ukraine, the Indians are united. They might be trapped, but they are united. And in India, they shouldn't be divided. So, uh, you know, and as for my good friend Sanjay Jha uh, making the analogy with the evacuation from Kuwait, no doubt, and I, I'm with him when I say that it was India's proudest moment as far as evacuations go. It was unbelievable. It was brilliant. But, Sanjay, you also know that it was six months before the actual war started out here. We are right in the middle of an active war. It is not only a war zone, there is a war happening. Just today you've seen how in the second major city of Ukraine, the bombardments and bombings have been going on unabatedly. So there's a different situation. It's not quite the same. But Navika, if I can, because it's a very serious issue, can I address two important issues? And I speak to the layman because there are experts that you've been consulting over the past. Think to me. There are only two decisive and credible deterrents for any country against invasion and total surrender. One, nuclear, and two, entering into a multi-nation superpower-backed alliance whose credo is attack against one is an attack against all. In today's world, any nation that has either one of these two deterrents, and by corollary, for any nation that doesn't have either one of these two, the writing, I'm afraid, is on the wall. So Ukraine Correct. today, who knows, maybe Taiwan tomorrow. Well, many are asking that question, especially because the Sino-American Mutual Defense Treaty seized in 1980 and that Taiwan is not a nuclear state anyhow. Let me now come to the other two issues that I analyze. Again, I specify as a layman. Number one, the invasion of Ukraine itself. Navika, I condemn it. It should not have happened. Nothing can compensate the loss and lie at the altar of geopolitical or territorial or indeed Absolutely. claims of feeling insecure a Ukraine that incidentally gave up its nuclear arsenal to join NATO. I ask, the small nation have the same rights as a large one? Russia is a formidable superpower with a formidable nuclear arsenal. For it to claim that it feels threatened by a small state joining NATO when so many of its border nations are members but of NATO. But you know, you know, Dr. Anand Ranganathan.